Hello and welcome to a video about control. This time we want to talk about what is necessary to describe what we want from a control. Okay? So there are several plans. Huh? Or one possibility is simply to tell it. Huh? But then it's hard for you to understand. Huh? Even if I write it down, it's hard. Huh? One thing helps for sure, that's a location map, a layout map. Yeah. What layout shall my control system serve? Yeah. Uh, well, the layout, you know, it doesn't really mean to have an accurate display. It just, it's already helpful that we can understand the machinery or the, the thing which shall be automated. Give you one example. There is okay. So what we've got here. Is simply some grain or I don't know some stuff. Yeah? Transmission belt. Yeah? Okay. So now, even without me telling too much what this is about, yeah, we see already. Aha! Uh -huh, there is some storage there is, seems to be some gravel or whatever we there is a, a flap which can be open and closed yeah? and there is some conveyor belt which is transporting this stuff to somewhere else yeah? there are two drives yeah? flap drive belt drive And now, if I make now, this, this is the layout. Huh? Layout schematic or something like this already helps understand. Huh? You see, it's just some lines. Huh? And this already helps to understand what I want. Huh? What I want. Huh? You, automation engineer, yeah? I'm describing now what I want from you. Okay? And now, now I can make a verbal or Textual description. Now I can tell you, okay, please, if this automated system is about to start, the first thing which needs to happen, yeah, step number one, yeah, start belt drive. Yeah. Second step, open flip. Then operation. Stand still. Then we're in operation. When we want to change from operation to stand still again, third step, close flap. Fourth step, uh, stop belt drive. Stand still. Okay? With these few words, with this textual description and this layout, you know what I want from you. Yeah? I want that we can go from standstill to operation, from operation to standstill, and the procedure is to first start the belt yeah? without load, yeah? that it's light or easy for the belt drive to run, to start running. Yeah? Then we start loading. Okay. Then we're in operation. When we unload or when we go to standstill, we shall close first the flap, then the belt is unloaded, and then we stop the belt. Okay? That's it. Layout plan, textual description. Okay. 
this is now easy yeah? because it's not very complicated automation system of course yeah? if it's getting more complicated yeah e especially if there are more things involved then maybe a little bit more uh you no know, a structured way would be nice yeah? so in next video we're talking about uh two possible diagrams yeah we're talking about a step diagram and a time diagram yeah? uh, travel step and travel time diagrams uh, to see how those are working yeah? we will do it with the same example yeah? for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye